Hey guys, welcome back to the world of aquariums, and today we will be doing another shrimp video as this is what I personally specialize in. So today's topic will be, what is the best all rounder shrimp food that I recommend everyone should have, especially if you're breeding shrimp, want high survival rate for baby shrimp, and just a massive shrimp colony overall. So the food I'm talking about is something you have probably heard the name of or you might even be using it, but just don't know all its benefits. And this food is soybean hole, which is more commonly referred to as shrimp snow. The main reasons I recommend this food is because it is extremely cheap, easily accessible, in addition to having numerous benefits as a food for shrimp, which I'll cover in depth later in the video. Our shrimp hobby has been rapidly growing over the years, which has created a huge market for different types of shrimp foods, additives and bacteria powders. Whilst they all have their uses and some people swear by some of them, to be honest, a lot of these are quite pricey and not really needed. So starting with the first reason of why I recommend shrimp snow, exactly how cheap is shrimp snow food? Well, for me in Australia, you can literally buy 20 kilograms of this food for around $20. This amount will basically last your lifetime, although I've seen some shrimp breeders finish a whole bag of this. Compared to any other shrimp foods in the market, nothing is close to this price and you can probably still get it for cheaper depending on where you are from. For example, most branded shrimp foods, I would have to pay around $20 for just 30 grams. So if you do the mass, shrimp snow will work out to be well over 500 times cheaper. Anyway, this leads to the second reason of why I recommend this food, which is they are very accessible and can easily be bought. But where exactly do you buy shrimp snow for this cheap? If you just type in shrimp snow online, you will find them to be a lot more expensive than what I have said. Although these prices are still relatively cheap compared to the other types of foods, it still isn't close to the price I have mentioned above. And this is because shrimp snow is just a renamed and resold version of what the food actually is. And this is soybean holes, which is used as horse feed. Most places will sell these in 20kg bags, but you might be able to find it in smaller sizes. If it is too much food, which it probably will be for most people, you can honestly just split the cost between other people or resell it at the same rate, or even just give it out as it is so cheap. Moving on to the third reason and main reason of why shrimp snow is such a good shrimp food and how does it compare to other shrimp foods. A lot of you guys might be thinking, oh, but other shrimp foods are mixed with multiple ingredients and therefore they should have more added nutrients and minerals. Yes, this is true to some extent. However, shrimp snow will usually still provide all the nutrition needed for shrimps, whilst also having other benefits compared to the other shrimp foods. So first off, shrimp snow works as a long-term food source with very little impact in polluting your water. Unlike other foods where it is usually recommended for the shrimp to finish the food in just a few hours, shrimp snow will usually last for a week or longer. During this whole time, the shrimp will be continuously grazing from the food. So if you're going on holidays and have a large colony of shrimps, you can just drop one or two of these into your tank and that should easily last them for a couple weeks. This is really different to shrimp pellet food or bacteria powders where if you aren't careful, you can easily overfeed your tank and this leads to polluting your water and usually shrimp deaths. Personally, overfeeding has always been an issue of mine and I know this is the same for a lot of other breeders out there. However, with shrimp snow, you rarely have problems of overfeeding and I have seen people chucking multiple pellets into a tank without any issues. This constant food source is extremely important for very large colonies of shrimp, as when there isn't enough food, your shrimp will start cannibalizing each other, but when there is too much, it could lead to all sorts of problems and shrimp snow rarely has this issue. The next thing that is very good about shrimp snow is that it breaks apart very easily, which spreads around your tank. This is very important in allowing all of your shrimp, from babies to adults, to graze on the food. And because the food lasts for a long time, this is going to be a constant food source for all your baby shrimplets, which is similar to biofilm. A lot of the time with shrimp pellets, they don't break apart easily and the shrimps will try and compete with each other to feed from it. So generally, only the larger shrimp, which are the adults, are able to feed from the pellet. But the biggest question is, what about the nutrition itself? Funny enough, a lot of shrimp foods out there will use shrimp snow as a main ingredient or filler and this is because it still has a lot of nutritional value despite its price. 
Whilst it does contain around 10% protein, its ability to speed up biofilm growth in the bacteria Bacillus subtilis is where its true nutritional value comes in. Bacillus subtilis is a probiotic created from fermented soybeans and this is used in pretty much all shrimp bacteria powders. This probiotic is known to have multiple benefits towards shrimps in terms of improving their health, resistance towards disease, and nutritional uptake. So basically, as a shrimp's nose is left in your tank and breaks down, it will allow for biofilm and good bacteria to grow from it. This is a highly nutritious food source for the shrimps and provides them with more nutrition. You guys can probably now see why this is such a good shrimp food for everyone to have on hand. But there is still one more thing of why it is so good, and that is, you are able to use this food either by itself or in conjunction with other shrimp foods where you won't need to use it as much. This is how I personally use it, by feeding shrimp pellet food when shrimp snow is already in the tank, as doing this will allow the baby shrimplets to feed from the shrimp snow while the larger adults feed from the pellets. Whenever the shrimp snow is eaten, I will just drop another into the tank, and this usually lasts for about a week. I feed around one large piece of shrimp snow for every 100 to 200 shrimps and break it into smaller pieces for smaller colonies. Anyway, this concludes our video of what I believe is the best all rounder shrimp food based on the price, accessibility, and nutritional comparison with other foods. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will answer them. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.